Hi guys, this is Sinet Ninja Security here and today I'm going to show you how to bypass Windows lock screen. And with this technique, you shouldn't try it on your office computers or at the com computers you use at the office actually. Because um, most companies policies um, are against that, you know, and uh, to be precise, most um, IT infrastructure policies are against that. So it's better you contact your Active Directory to research your password for you. But when it comes to your personal computers and you are facing these kind of problems, it's better you you know you watch this video to fix it so please let's get on with it so as you can see here my password is not working so just what we're going to do here is um, we're going to change this button here um, into a CMD button. So whenever you click on this button, it's going to pop up a command prompt, a black screen where we're going to change our password from. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to turn or shut down the computer, then reboot it back again. So as you boot your computer for the second time, the moment you see the loading icon on the screen then you long press the power button again till the computer turns off so after long pressing the power button to shut it down and rebooting it you're gonna have this kind of screen and um, it's gonna take a while so I'm just gonna pause this video here and um, we will continue from there so afterwards you're gonna have this screen so you just go ahead and click the advanced option and click on troubleshoot then move to advanced options then system image recovery then click on cancel click on next then click on advance and click on install a driver click ok then you're gonna have this um, window on the screen so you click on this PC and click on your drive C drive C on your computer then click on Windows and you find the folder um, system 32 system 32 okay so you're gonna scroll down to you find you tell man you tell man you know a file name you tell man so so there you have it you tell man so you click on it and you rename the file you're just gonna add one to it so that you just don't get confused right and you press enter then you refresh it then you go ahead and look for the cmd file also the cmd okay so there you have it so you go ahead and rename the cmd file into you tell man man and press enter then refresh your page so as you can see here, we've changed um, the CMD to Utilman and the Utilman to Utilman 1. So you're just going to go ahead and hit cancel. Cancel as well. Then cancel. Then turn off your PC and reboot it again. So after booting on your computer, you click on this button. As you can see that right now is not giving you the default view is now giving you the command prompt so you go ahead and type net user press enter and as you can see this is the default account name so you go ahead and type net user followed by the account name mine default account name is user with a capital u so user space the press star on the keyboard press enter so it's gonna ask you to type a new password so in this case you just don't want to type a new password so you just press enter and press enter again and type exit so you go ahead and press enter on the keyboard so as you can see you are now in and everything is up and running thank you for watching this video do what to like and subscribe and leave your comments below Thank you.